there's a legend. I heard if you go outside that the doctor, Coach Greg, does not see or hear what you're doing. So I'm meeting my skinny pop outside. Smart pop popcorn, not skinny pop. Dad? <laughs> Harder than last time. <laughs> All right, the friends. Today, I am doing a fancy special full day of eating for you because I am eating like the anabolic chef himself, AKA Coach Greg, IFBB pro. I'm not a doctor, 9% body fat, nine animal having, bike riding, jaguar driving, almond drinking, word mispronouncing, Greg Doucette. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about that? It doesn't matter what you think. Uh. Can you smell well, well what the Coach Greg is cooking? You've never <laughs> actually seen The Rock, have you? Shh. <laughs> I have chosen to eat like Coach Greg today because I have watched his Anabolic Kitchen series. I've seen a couple of his full days of eating. I really eat very similar to him. And he has so many cool recipes in his Anabolic Kitchen. And I resonate with those because during my weight loss journey, I ate very similar to that. I made a lot of the same things and that helped me lose 130 pounds and keep it off. And he eats very similar again. He eats low calorie, low fat, he eats carbs and he eats higher protein. And he believes that you should eat and love your diet. He likes staying at a certain percent of body fat. And in order to do that, he has to diet but he needs to love his food so that it's sustainable. It's the same as me. I'm currently trying to get leaner, so I really need to love my food, so I picked a bunch of his really cool recipes. I also already eat some of them, and I'm gonna show you how he eats his awesome recipes, and I'm gonna put my girly spin on it. I'm eating like this for you guys because I think you'll benefit from it, and the reason is Coach Greg eats very similar to us. Because he eats low calorie, he can eat a lot more volume. When you're dieting and you're in a deficit, you are going to be hungry, that's normal. So when you're eating lower calorie, lower fat foods, you can actually eat more volumes of it. And some of the stuff you're gonna see, it's gonna look like not much in the beginning and then it's gonna be huge and you're gonna feel satisfied and full. And that's his philosophy and it's ours, so we're gonna mush it together and show you some cool stuff. And the thing is, if you listen, like this is why me and Nicole never listened to what was popular because the world right now is telling you tons of healthy fats. Yes. Well, if you eat high fat diet, you only get this much. If you eat low fat, low calorie, you get big much. <laughs> <laughs> you do get big much. All right, so come along, and the first thing we're gonna make is anabolic French toast. But first, I gotta get prepared. Okay, so the first ingredient is, you have to have an apron and you have to have no shirt on underneath. <laughs> <laughs> and for girls, we can have sports bras, okay? So, but, but you gotta have the apron. Next, we got some bread. Now, Coach Greg uses regular <laughs> white bread. However, I'm a girl and I need to have the thins because I need to eat less calories than last time to lose weight. So I bought the thins and these are whole wheat. Now the only reason that they're whole wheat is because they were out of the white ones at the store. So either one work. The, like Coach Greg says, the white ones do get fluffier with the egg whites, but the whole wheat ones still get pretty fluffy. So he usually eats about, I think five in some of the videos I've seen, but that would be way too much food. I wouldn't be able to eat the rest of the day. So I'm gonna use two. I think he usually uses about two cups of egg whites. I'm gonna do a third cup. Gotta eat less calories than last time. So we're gonna go a third cup of egg whites. And then he usually does, I think about a pinch of cinnamon and I'm just gonna go, you know, to my taste, bloop. He uses some sweetener. I recently discovered this stuff. It's better than stevia. French vanilla zero calorie sweetener. And they ain't lying. This is a game changer, let me tell you. This stuff is amazing. So I'm gonna put one of these in instead of regular sweetener. 
And then I'm going to put just a splink of vanilla. Boop, about a teaspoon I would say. And then we're gonna um, mix it until it looks mixed because that's what Coach Greg says. And Nicole actually taught me a tip, like we freeze the bread to keep it fresh and the bread does soak up and holds up a lot better when it's frozen. Yeah, you know, I did discover that. Um, Sassy's right, the, the whole wheat bread at least soaks up the egg whites a lot better when it's frozen. I don't even have to thaw it out. This is like diet hacks. You, you feel like you're like cheating on your diet because you don't feel like you're cheat, you're, don't feel like you're dieting because everything is so good. Like we're gonna eat French toast for breakfast with really good berries and yogurt and- Later we're gonna eat ice cream. And pizza. So we, we're not even on a diet, it doesn't even feel like it. Yet, I've been eating like this for a few days and I'm leaner than last time. <laughs> okay, so this looks pretty stirred up and ready to go. I'm gonna soak my bread in it now. I'm just gonna bank it in there and blink it with my fork, let it soak, and I'm gonna heat up my pan. You do one at a time? Yeah, because I like small bowls. All right, so I'm about to preheat my pan and spray it. So we're using some cooking spray to spray the pan, but remember, watch your sprays. You don't wanna get too many calories, just a few. There we are, and then we're gonna Turn it on medium-high heat, and we're gonna get the French toast and cook it about three minutes per side or until it's goldeny and lovely. Okay, the friends, so I have my two French toasts soaked in, or soaked up, <laughs> soaked in. Um, it's all ready to go, and I, I had the bread soaking probably about a minute or two. It sucked up all the egg whites, and now they'll be ready to go in the pan as soon as it's heated up. While the pan is heating up, I'm gonna make my toppings. So I have some frozen blueberries here. Now, Coach Greg actually cooks his blueberries in his French toast. I'm just gonna top my French toast with it. So I'm gonna do half a cup of blueberries. Because they're frozen, I'm gonna microwave them so that they thaw and the juices get all pory. So we got half a cup of frozen blueberries. Go in a microwave safe cup or mug and I'm gonna microwave it for about 45 seconds to a minute until they're thawed. All right, now we're gonna do the yogurt. I think Coach Greg puts sweetener in his, but I'm gonna doctor mine up just a little bit. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. So this is plain fat-free Greek yogurt. So we're gonna go half a cup of the Greek yogurt and I'm gonna make like a French vanilla yogurt to top my French toast. So this goes in and then I'm gonna take some more vanilla and I'm just gonna do a little squish, probably about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. And another one of those stevias, the French vanilla, I know it better stevia. Another thing that we've been similar on, or another thing that we're very similar to uh, Coach Greg with is we don't care about sweeteners and we don't care about sodium. And we don't care about chemicals. Right. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna stir this up and then it will be ready to go onto the French toast. Baby Hanky, you always gotta come in into video and be loud. All right, they are all done and ready to be topped. As you can see, they do actually thicken up quite a bit and they now they look like regular slices of bread. The French toast is ready for our yogurt that we made. We're gonna put that on top. All right, and then we're gonna spoon these berries on. All kinds of protein here. Oh yeah, muscle building, get leaning, protein. And if you know Coach Greg, you know he believes in the Walden Farms zero calorie syrup. And we about to put on some strawberry flavored syrup, boys. And Whoa, we're... you're not using the pancake syrup? Nope, today we're gonna take it up a notch. You're getting wild. Strawberry, getting wild, drizzle it on, let's go, oh yeah. Mm. Anabolic French toast is served. All right, let's take a bite. 
So again, this is a combination of the Coach Greg anabolic French toast and the Nicole Collette French toast on a diet. Let's go. Oh yeah. Mmm. Strawberry syrup for the win. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good on there. Oh yeah, especially with the vanilla yogurt and the blueberry. This makes me want to dance, guys. That's dancing. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> okay, so an approximate guess for the calories this morning for my anabolic French toast. About 315 calories, one and a half grams of fat, and 32 protein. Just an estimate. I'm not a scientist. Or a doctor. Or a doctor. <laughs> My shirt's almost dry. I'll just come back and get it tomorrow. It might be dry. There it is. All right, the friends, I am almost done my cardio. I did cardio harder than last time, and I'm gonna go home and get ready for lunch. You move your arms a lot when you talk. That's what Italians do. All right, I'm back from my exercise, doing my cardio, and I'm starving, and it's time to eat lunch. So, Coach Greg usually eats wraps with lean protein. So the lean protein I'm using are these lean chicken burgers from Walmart. They're 130 calories and like four grams of fat and I think like 22 grams of protein or something. So they're really good. I'm gonna eat one of these. He always uses low calorie sauce. So we got some maple brown flavored sugar-free barbecue sauce. I'm gonna use a teaspoon of that. That G Hughes is off the charts good. Oh, it is so good. You don't even know that it's sugar-free. And then, he usually uses P28 bread, flat bread, but I can't find that anywhere. So I'm using these. I think Mama Lupe's is what they're called. They're low carb tortillas. They're 70 calories per tortilla, so I'm gonna eat two of them. And then he usually puts some veggies, loads on veggies. So I'm gonna use some spinach, which he likes, some romaine, and I'm gonna put some cucumber on there. It's delicious. Let's get working. <laughs> Burger took about, I don't know, nine, 10 minutes total. Yeah, about five minutes per side, give or take. So we got a bit of a heaper here of sugar-free barbecue sauce. I'm just gonna spread it on. And then because I have two wraps, I couldn't find full-size ones, so that's why I got two. I'm just gonna cut this in half. And half on here. Half on here, and there they are. Two lovely wraps. Now, Coach Greg usually drinks Diet Mountain Dew or Diet Coke from what I've seen. However, we can't find Diet Mountain Dew where we are, and I'm drinking a Ram, Ram? An amped up Diet Coke. Look at this, strawberry guava Diet Coke. If you guys haven't had this, try it. It's amazing. So the total for this lunch, it's a little over 300 calories, around 32-ish grams of protein and about eight grams of fat. Again, I'm not a scientist, it's just an estimate. Let's eat. All right, it's a bit of a messy extravaganza, guys, but it is delicioso. Let's have a lovely, I was gonna say drink. <laughs> Watch your fingers there, man. <laughs> Hungry. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Anabolic pizza time. Pre-workout slash dinner. 
we are having, I'm not a doctor, anabolic pizza. So, I'm using one of these two toy, tofoyan <laughs> wraps. It's a low carb wrap and it's about 160 calories. I took a tip from Allie who said to toast your flatbread so that your toppings don't cave in when you're using like a thin flatbread. So I lightly toasted this and now I'm gonna use this low calorie sauce. It's like 45 calories for a quarter cup. I'm gonna use two tablespoons to top my pizza. I know Coach Greg likes a lot of sauce, but I'm not a saucer. I'm with Allie on this one. Just a little bit of sauce will do it. I'm gonna add some toppings. So I have three ounces of lean chicken here, and I've got some red pepper, mushroom, and spinach, and I usually put red onion. However, a really awesome subscriber just told us that there's like a nationwide recall on them, so that went in the compost, <laughs> and we're just topping it with this stuff. So we're gonna bink on some peppers. We got some mushrooms. Some spinach. I'm gonna put my chicken. This is genius. I'm eating this pizza for dinner too, and the fat free cheese slices, you really don't miss the cheese, and you don't really don't need all the extra calories. Exactly. So, we're gonna be using these ones fat free, the black diamond. We really love the craft singles, but they're really hard to find here, so these are more easy. So, we're using two of these, and I'm just gonna break them in half so that I can easily cover my pizza and then I'm gonna put this in the toaster oven and toast it for like a cycle of two slices of bread if that helps anybody. <laughs> All right the anabolic pizza is done. I topped it with some fine sea salt and pepper and now I'm gonna put a teaspoon of the barbecue sauce I showed you earlier to make barbecue chicken pizza. I'm just gonna sprinkle it around here. Do -do -do -do, do -do -do, like that. Give everything some love. And now, we're gonna cut it. Okay guys, going in. Four bite. Mmm. That's so good. I am. Look who's ready in case I drop something. Baby Hanky. <laughs> All right, the pizza was about 388 calories, about seven and a half grams of fat, and around 44, 45 grams of protein. And now we're making anabolic ice cream. And we will, I will link the video down below for this, Coach Greg's anabolic ice cream video for you. We're gonna start with some fruit. I'm gonna use a heaping cup of these sliced strawberries. You've made some tweaks to this recipe, right? Um, just a little bit, just a couple. So the fruit is about the same. Um, I'm gonna do about, I think he does five to six ice cubes. I like to do six. And you definitely need the Vitamix blender, right? <laughs> yes. Coach Greg says you need the Vitamix blender. Right, Coach Greg? <laughs> Actually, he discovered what we did. Vitamix sucks. Ninja is better. Much we, better. We have always used the Ninja. It is way better. So, now we're going to be using this cashew milk because I'm fresh out of almond milk. <laughs> and we're going to use a third cup of that. Now, Coach Greg doesn't use sea salt, but my sassy bear behind the camera taught me a trick. He says to bring out the flavors, you put a pinch of sea salt. Just a pinch. And he is right. And then, we're going to use half a teaspoon of guar gum, and Coach Greg uses xanthan or the guar. He says it works the same, and this stuff it's really cheap on Amazon. We got this for $25. And we're in Canada, friends, so keep in mind that it's a good deal for this bag's gonna last us forever. It's a thickening agent, and like Dr. Coach says, you cannot skip this part of the recipe. Yeah, you need the protein and you need this. You can play around with all the other ingredients, 
The guar gum or xanthan gum is a must. Because it makes it really thick. So we're going to put some stevia or some sweetener in here. I'm using the French vanilla one. And then Coach Greg uses PB2, but that makes me really bloated. So I'm going to use sugar-free pudding powder. And I'm using a cheesecake flavor today. And I'm going to use two tablespoons. He does usually, I think, about two tablespoons of PB2. So two tablespoons of this cheesecake sugar-free pudding going in. Yeah, we were thinking, guys, if you guys have the same problem with PB2, there are a ton of sugar-free jello pudding mix options in the grocery store. So you can all the flavor combinations are pretty much endless. So we've got that one. And then actually, one of my ice cubes was really small. So today, I'm going to throw in an extra one. Whoa. And Coach Greg uses, I think, one and a half scoops of protein powder. I don't need as much protein, so I'm only going to do one scoop. And I am change up what I use, but today I'm using coconut cream. And I am not sponsored by any of these companies or products. I'm just a girl using stuff I like. <laughs> So now we have got it all in, I am going to start the blending process. And the one thing that Coach Greg doesn't know about are blender faces. Okay, so you need to stop the blender about every, about three to four times during the process. And you just kind of squish everything down. Use whatever. I like to use a butter knife. And you just push down everything back into the blender. And it doesn't look like much right now. But have faith in the doctor, the not doctor. He knows what he's talking about. This is going to get bigger than last time. Just keep blending. It will amaze you. Yeah. We got to remove the blade. And Coach Greg says if you did it right... It's going to be, hold it over your head for seven seconds. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> seven. Yeah! All right, now we're going to put this in a bowl. And I'm going to enjoy this. However, I add a little bit of a Nicole finesse. Because I don't think that Coach Greg uses these, but I'm going to top my ice cream with this chocolate chip fiber one bar. It's only like 90 calories. It's very low in calories and it is delicioso and it's high in fiber and it makes it taste like a blizzard, the friends. Look at the thickness so, you get with some ice and fruit and some powders. You just let it go longer than you think. Just let it go and go and go and it gets big. Look at this. This you feel, it's only protein powder, ice, fruit, a little bit of sweetener, and some pudding powder and guar gum. And this is what it made. A huge bowl of satisfying ice cream. Coach Greg's the pretty much a genius. Mm. You must lick the spatula too. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Mm. I'll put the fiber one on for the friends. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So this is optional. This is a Nicole hack. Yep, Nicole diet hack coming in optionally. But look how beautiful that is. Yes, and you can get them in all flavors. Okay, so the macros are about 338, 340 calories, 28 grams of protein, and around 4.5 grams of fat. All estimates but that's about what it is. I'm gonna eat this up. Let's do it. And I didn't put a spoon with me, so let's do this. <laughs> mm. I can grab you a spoon and throw it over here. <laughs> but that was more fun. Look at this. Fluffy. Mmm. And it really fills up your belly to the friends and you feel like you're eating real soft serve. really good. All right, so the popcorn is done. Yeah, Wait. see, Smart Pop is 94% fat free. And Skinny Pop is basically chips. So <laughs> we're gonna pour this in the bowl and Coach Craig eats it plain just like this. However, if you're not worried about calories, we have in the past, or I have in the past, put this butter flavor cooking spray on it to give it a little more oomph. A quick spray will 
help these kernels stick. Yes, which Coach Greg also doesn't do, but Sassy Bear and I do it because it adds a little flavor and it doesn't have any calories. So for a third teaspoon in the kernels, they're zero calories. So we basically just choose one and then do a little sprink. And currently, because I want less calories than last time, I'm not using the butter flavor spray. I'm just gonna sprinkle a bit on, like that. Give it a shake. And then just a little bit more, oops, sorry, I made a mess. A little bit more on top, and that's it. Now, we got our snackaroo, our anabolic popcorn, and we're gonna peel these Muscles. And it's a huge serving, as you guys can see. This bowl is huge. Fills you up. It's a great snack, low calorie. It's again with the volume. You get a ton. It's high in fiber. It's low calories. You get the whole bag. You can watch a movie and eat it. You feel like you're having a great snack and you feel full. All right, final meal of the day. So I've heard Coach Greg say he usually has casein protein or he recommends casein protein at bedtime. However, I've been eating this snack for years. So this is not Coach Greg's recipe. This is mine. We, I am having, I'm having half a cup of this 1% cottage cheese with a teaspoon of cocoa powder and a teaspoon, of, this is just zero calorie sweetener. And I'm going to add a tablespoon of this crunchy natural peanut butter. Casein protein is really good because it's slow digesting and it feeds your muscles throughout the night basically, especially when it's mixed with a healthy fat. So I also, after my meal, I drink a tablespoon of this raw apple cider vinegar. It has to be the one with the mother, which is the cloudy stuff on the bottom. And I dilute it in four ounces of water and I drink it through a straw because it's really strong on the enamel on your teeth and it can really wreck it. So the water and the straw help. And the reason why we have healthy fat at night and not PB2 is because we don't have many fats in our diet. No. So you do need some. Yes, you do need some. So that's why the peanut butter is here. Check out Coach Greg. He yells a lot. He's like the angry stepdad you never had. <laughs> Check him out. We have learned so much from him. We have very similar diets. We're linking his anabolic ice cream down below. Buy his cookbook. And while you're at it, buy our weight loss guides. <laughs> we, have, <laughs> we have two of them. Links are down below. Check it out. Do the stuff. Like the bills. At the comments on Instagram. Drink a lot of water like baby Hanky and be really loud. And now we frog it. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Peace. Colette's out. Oh, yeah, I'm blooping up two videos. Click the bloop. Remember, the friends, that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale, it's also about here and here heart and mindset. Bite through it. You can do it.